it seems we will soon be facing another ice age. This is because the scientific community has found out that the Earth's current global warming trend is masking the cooling of its interior. This trend started in the late 1990s, and it's bound to bring a return of ice ages over the next 50 years. It might be hard to imagine the world going into another ice age, but a new study argues that the northern hemisphere would be hit the hardest. If that were to happen, here's what you can expect. 1. Widespread food shortages 2. Devastating floods from rising seas 3. A catastrophic reversal in global warming and 4. Heat-related deaths on an extreme scale So, what will an ice age look like today if it were to happen? The cause of ice ages is not fully understood, but it is thought that they are caused by changes in the Earth's orbit. The effects of an ice age are widespread and can include shorter growing seasons, colder winters, and loss of habitat for plants and animals. Is another ice age coming? We've all heard about the age of ice, but how can we understand how it will shape our future? If the history of Earth is anything to go by, we are in for a rocky ride. Around 2.59 billion years ago, our planet went through a series of extreme events. The era was marked by an increase in carbon dioxide levels and a change in the Earth's climate. Colder global temperatures during an ice age cause recurrent glacial expansion throughout the surface of the Earth. These eras, which may span hundreds of millions of years, are separated by recurrent warmer interglacial periods that always include at least one large ice sheet. The oceans become dense and acidic, which eventually contributed to the destruction of the Earth's early life forms. The oceans stayed acidic for billions of years and were devoid of life until life forms began to diversify yet again. The modern world is the result of the oceans being populated by a plethora of different organisms. Five major extinctions have occurred on Earth since it was first created. Four occurred before the age of dinosaurs and were the result of natural causes such as asteroids and massive volcanic eruptions. The fifth extinction, which is currently occurring, is man-made, caused by the activities of humans. The dinosaurs are a diverse group of reptiles that lived on Earth during the Mesozoic Era, which lasted from 250 to 65 million years ago. The earliest dinosaurs appeared in the fossil record by the Late Triassic period, about 230 million years ago. The first extinction occurred due to a collision with a massive Mars-sized object called Theia. The destruction of this object caused the Earth to spin off axis and sped up its rotation until it was spinning on its axis every day. This occurred around 4.5 billion years ago. The second extinction occurred when life emerged. The abundance of light and water created the perfect conditions needed for life to emerge and flourish. The last mass extinction was about 65 million years ago, when a giant asteroid hit the Earth. It is thought that this incident was able to wipe out a majority of life in the world's oceans, and so it is sometimes referred to as the Cretaceous Paleogene Extinction Event. It is not often that an extinction event occurs on such a global scale as most wipe out only certain species, such as the dinosaurs. Each extinction was different from the previous, but all were influenced by the same factors. Do you have any questions or comments about the Ice Age? Leave them below and we'll do our best to answer any questions that you might have. 
Considering how far we have come in humanity, will there be another Ice Age anytime soon? The answer is not as simple as it sounds. According to a new study conducted by scientists from the Potsdam Institute for Climate Impact Research, or PIK, near Berlin and the University of Massachusetts, there are many different factors that can cause a glacial period. The study, published in the journal Nature, included a comprehensive climate model that shows that there is a major factor in an ice age. Dust. The findings are based on a complex interplay between oceans and atmosphere, with dust playing a key role. The calculations show that the amount of atmospheric dust is directly linked to the amount of ice on land in a global climate system. Lead author of the study and climate scientist at PIK, Dim Cuomo, said, According to the study, a 10% drop in the amount of atmospheric dust can cause the cooling of oceans by several tens of degrees. The distribution of this dust across the world varies massively, depending on the time of the year and weather conditions. The dust corresponding to the cold phases, including in 2012, primarily originates from regions near the Sahara. The study predicts that if global warming progresses, the amount of airborne dust will decline by 30% by the year 2100. This decline is likely to be felt in Europe during hot summers. What would another ice age really look like in today's world? What would be different and how would it affect us as humans? Sadly, we're getting closer to finding out. These frightening facts are what inspired the post. Humans and ice do not play nice together during the peak of an ice age. Nevertheless, before the times of early nomads and the invention of agriculture, about 10,000 years ago. With the latest data suggesting that an imminent ice age is right around the corner, these figures should not be taken lightly and we should all prepare accordingly. The next discovery to be made may very well reveal to us a civilization in a state unprepared for the abrupt changes in the climate and climate zones that occurred during the peak of the last ice age. Typically, during an ice age, agriculture and nomadic animals adapted to semi-arid environments are not very good at persisting during the cold winter storms that characterize these ecosystems. This is an issue with real-world implications. As we continue to see evidence of climate change and disruptions in Earth's current climate system, it will be increasingly difficult for our agricultural and hunting sectors to adapt fast enough to sustain new and perhaps very troubling social ailments. Historically, there have been agricultural collapses that have preceded the decline in population, and this has been attributed to climate change. We should be worried that the food production systems currently in place may not be enough to sustain more people than they currently do, some of which are already malnutritioned. Additionally, future climate change is going to already be problematic for many systems water, natural disasters, desertification, and it is only reasonable to assume that this is going to cause an increase in wars, migration, and violent conflicts. All of these things are further accelerated by hunger and weakened immune systems. But don't get too uncomfortable, we just need you to know what we might be getting into. Oh, and have you subscribed to our channel yet? If not, please do so now to support us and also click on the notification bell to get notified anytime we upload a new video. How disastrous would the Ice Age be if it were to happen today? It's actually quite different to determine how global temperatures would change if all the ice on the earth melted into water. Simply put, 
there is still a lot that we don't know about climate and how Earth would react if ice were essentially removed as a factor. In reality, a full temperature change would most likely never be achieved, if only because of melting in the tropics. These areas, of course, receive more heat than the poles. So, what should you take home from this? An ice age is not such a great experience, although it might be a good sight to behold with everywhere looking beautiful with the ice covering all the land. But this would cause us our land, houses, food, plants, and many more. We might even need to forget about fish and other marine lives. In conclusion, global warming, natural disasters, and human-induced disaster activities are triggers to the birth of the new ice age in our today. The famine of the people due to heavy cyclones, floods, landslides, and drought too provokes the birth of a new ice age. It will be a hard experience for humanity. Trying to face a new age without electricity, without cars, without airplanes, without internet, without electric gadgets. That may also become a normal human life as changes would be difficult to make if an ice age emerges. Thank you for staying through this video and don't forget to drop a comment, subscribe, and like our videos. You should also invite your friends to come see our amazing content.